last thing we need to take care of is the Fantasy League. Peyton, anything we need to be aware of before we start getting into trades? Uh, well, there's one very important thing that everyone should know, and that is Drew White's fucking shitheaded losers are still <laughs> fucking shitheaded losing. They're still in last place, 489 points, managing to only get 38 points this last session. God damn, really? <laughs> <laughs> I will okay. say, I, I was doing good. Up until my team was named fucking shitheaded losers, and then when that Which was happened, the I think yeah, that, that was the beginning of the downfall. So uh, no, I'm saying that this, was the first. That was the first week you got named that. Yeah, so I I was doing good at the draft, but then as soon as it drafted and we started naming our teams, that's when it just fell downhill. Uh, I guess it's not so bad being the Green Kings after yeah, all. If I remember, <laughs> someone, uh, someone did say that you had the best team at the start of the year. Well. <laughs> I don't know. We should trust him because he eats fucking Cheez Its and Mountain Dew, and I mean, probably Diet Mountain Dew too. I'm sure that you can uh, pick it, pick it back up. I mean, with great decision making, like dropping Randy Orton, why not? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, shit, he's injured now, so was it really too bad? Yeah, it was. You still have Daniel Bryan? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Some of his decisions. Anyway, yeah, he's still in last place. In fourth place is Sean Walker's The Canadian Elephants with seven, 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 three sevens. Seven, Steven seven. Wago's Ricky the Team Boat in third place with 1,140 points. Big gains. Matter of fact, Wago's team had the biggest gain of any session with 331 points. That's it was like. That's why me and Wago were neck and neck, wasn't it? It's like 11 times what Drew had this last session. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you and Wago actually traded spots back and forth a few times throughout this. Uh, if you go to WWFantasyLeague.com, you can see a cute little graph there that'll show you that. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Adorable. Uh, Tony Mangos, Tony's Tykes 2, still in second place, appropriately numbered, with 1,209 points. Talk about my the team... name screwing you over, Tony's Tykes 2. <laughs> yeah. been in second place like this whole goddamn time. Tony's Tykes 2. No, Tony's you Tykes. started You started at the beginning. Did I? Yeah, the first session you were actually uh, number one. Huh. And then I took over after that, and then you just kind of <laughs> held it ever since. Well, if Tony's Tykes 3 ends up being third place the whole time, then fuck. Oh, so you heard it here, folks. He's already saying he's going to name next year's team Tony's Tykes 3. Oh, oh wasn't that like... To that. Yeah. <laughs> we got it now, I mean, just... <laughs> I love that Mike still hasn't realized that on one part of the graph it still says um, Ricky the Team Boat for me and then Ring King's on the other part. <laughs> oh, is that what it says? Ricky the says. Ring King Boat. <laughs> Ricky the Ring King Boat. Can I change it to Ricky the Ring King Boat? <laughs> Ring King the Steam Boat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm still in first with 1,300 points. So uh, the fun part of this we always do, if we haven't been having fun yet, is the trades. New session, session seven. We uh, reset the waiver wire to go back to whoever is in last place and probably needs it most. And there's been a lot of interesting things that happened this week, so I can imagine there's a lot of trades that want to happen. First dibs on it, though, goes to Drew White. Uh, I am going to drop Stardust, and in his place, I'm going to pick up Alberto Del Rio. Alberto Del Rio taking Stardust place. Not a bad trade, if I say so myself. Sean, I know you've been chomping at the bit to get something here. What do you got to do? I want to drop Xavier Woods and pick up Paige. Dropping Xavier Woods. Taking back Paige. Just did that mm -hmm. trade last week. Giving it up again already, huh? Mm-hmm. Huh. Way go. No, she's gone back to heal now, so they're actually going to push it only. I will, be, I will be dropping Rusev and picking up The Undertaker if he's available. I believe The Undertaker is available. Yep. I got rid of him last week. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Wago grabbing The Undertaker. Tony. Uh, I think we're going to keep my team the same. You're going to keep your team the same? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. Can I change my name to the Jimmy Jones? No, I don't think you could do that. I don't know how the hell you'd spell that. <laughs> or how do we spell that? The, so, uh, Jimmy Jones. I'm going to go ahead and hope that I don't make the same mistakes as uh, Drew. I'm, I'm going to drop Randy Orton. And in his place, 
I am going to pick up Luke Harper. Ah, oh, Randy Orton just came back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm very very nervous about this one, but uh, John Cena I think is worth waiting out to see what happens here. Randy Orton it's still up in the air how long he's going to be out for, so uh, I'm going to have to go with that. Uh, Drew, you are back in line again. Hmm. Could have dropped El Rio. <laughs> <laughs> I am going. I'm not. Gonna, I will pass for now, mm. and I'll let it go around one more time and see if anything happens. That'll make me want to do anything else. All right, Sean. You're up What's the point difference between me and Drew? Uh, like two hundred and fifty, roughly. I guess you've so. got this nice big I'll, score I'll, I'll, over I'll, here. Drop page and pick up Randy Orton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dropping page, picking up Randy Orton, going yes, on. Yes, I you want to run the Orton on the same fucking team. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's never going to happen because it was always the trade for each other. So <laughs> oh, happy. shit. Sean might win now. Like, yeah, but this is going to be the big uh, change of the whole thing. <laughs> it's going to turn everything around for Sean's team. <laughs> uh, Wago, you're up next. So, Sean, do you want to trade Randy Orton? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, man. All right, that brings it back to me. I am gonna drop Summer Ray and take Paige. There you are. <laughs> yeah, fucking cunt. Um, technically, you did skip me. What if I wanted Paige? Actually, uh, I do have a trade I want to make. Actually, no, never mind. Tony already took him. Fucking throwing me off. All right, do you want Paige, Tony? No. <laughs> okay. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Um, well, actually, it was more to go back to you again. So then we come back to Drew again. I am good for now. All uh, right, Wago, anything else in your mind? Nah, fuck Tony. Wait, I, thought, I thought I thought Tyler Breeze wasn't taken, then I realized Tony has him. Mm -hmm. All right, Sean. Is Ryback taken? I believe Drew has Ryback. Yeah, he does. Yeah. No. Drew has him on uh, the same slot that you have Randy Orton. If you want to drop no. Randy Orton for him. <laughs> I'll give you a uh, right back for uh, Becky Lunch. That's actually a good trade. Yeah. yeah. Psych. Just kidding. No, oh. we, we don't do Sykes. Yeah. Sykes went out in 1999, dude. Oh, so, yeah. shoot. Yeah, before yeah, you were born. Sean, quickly, Bagsy, and then he, then you get the trade. I still got Becky Lynch. Well, it's Becky Lunch. I, I, try, I try to think who's available. Uh, You know, uh, Daniel Bryan's available if you want him. <laughs> He's probably going to be joining Christian any day soon. You can I just, know. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll keep. All this right, is so uh, Daniel list of Bryan looked, that's available, Sean. Daniel Bryan looked healthy. I saw him in an article doing gardening the other day. Well then, you have Daniel Bryan as a part timer. Mm -hmm. He is a part timer. Well, that's why I guess he's injured half the time. And. Still yeah. working part time. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't add up? Can't argue that logic. <laughs> Peyton, I'll trade you Becky Lynch for John Cena. <laughs> oh well, shit. No. Oh, well, at least he, it's an it's an a for effort. No. So are we all done here? No one else got anything else they want to do? No, no, I'm doing. All right, we're going to wrap that up then. If you want to keep up with what the hell's going on with all these teams, you want to see the latest scores, you want to familiarize yourselves with the rules, oh, shit. head on over to WWEFantasy.com. <laughs> oh, fuck with that. I already, I already said the URL. We can't, can't yeah, do anything. Yeah, I know, yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? <laughs> can, I, can I... Who's on my team a minute? <laughs> 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 I forgot about Seb Cole, all right? No, Zeb Coulter's not available. Don't do oh, Zeb Coulter doesn't count. All right. No, yeah. like, Dude, you ask like... this every fucking time a manager shows up. <laughs> that was like our one-year gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> that was like our version of what WWE 2K does. That was the manager mode. <laughs> Got rid of it. Manager <laughs> mode! I remember, pretty sure Miguel had uh, Triple H the whole year because he gets like 12 points a night. <laughs> and Lana, too, for a while, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, we decided to make it, you know, fair. Mm -hmm. I thought that's why you picked Summer Rae. 
Well, she's the wrestler. Mm-hmm. She tries. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One who wrestles is not necessarily a wrestler. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, WWFantasyLeague.com. Check that out. All right, guys, it takes us into the plugs. Wago, start us off. Oh, thank God. StephenWago.com, <laughs> at Stephen Wago on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Stephen Wago, a Stephen spelt with a P-H. Stephen. John, you're next. Facebook.com forward slash Premier Pals, Twitter.com forward slash Premier Pals for new episode every Thursday. Wow. Well, well done. <laughs> True. Go to Juice of White on Twitter and then go to McFriggin' on uh, the YouTubes. Payton. If you enjoy wrestling, join us every single Monday night following Raw at MegapowersRadio.com for the most interactive post-Raw experience available and follow me on Twitter at M-R-P-A-D-E-N. That's Mr. Payton. Guys, next week, the Smack Talk episode is going to be main evented by Fantasy Booking Survivor Series 2015. We're going to jump on what we think that that card should be. After that's either going to be the mailbag and call the spot or just call the spot. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. I'm actually kind of curious. Do you guys think we should do mailbags with a special feature or should we do them separately on a week where we did like a post show and just do that as a main event? I don't know. Leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about that. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to be trying to take those mailbag questions, and if you have any that you would like to submit, submit them. I'll backlog them, and we'll get around to them when we get around to them. Make sure you check out all the articles on smartoutmoment.com and anything on the outside interference that I write as well. Go ahead and check out fanboysanonymous.com, all talk show, and everything else under a mango tree, and follow me at Tony Mango all over the internet next week. Uh... Not sure if we're doing that Tuesday or Wednesday. If it's Tuesday, the hell's going to happen that time around <laughs> just uh, based off of this episode. I don't know. But we'll see you then. And that's going to be it for episode 206. Thank you all for listening. Subscribe, like, favorite, share, all that other kind of jazz. This has been another Smart Out Moment, and we're being counted out. All right, to give you guys a little preface for this outro, I said we shouldn't do this, you said we should, so I figured, what the hell, everybody is going to go to hell with me, and we're going to do Tunga's family as the Adams family. Everybody's going to do at least one verse here, and it's going to be terrible. We worked way too long on this. Tell at least me Sean did. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So Fuck let's just guys. start this off. Do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do. Do 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 do. Why is he paid's the question? They now are his profession. At least that's our impression. Otunga's family, they're earning him some money, and we think that is funny. They're chilling with Jack Tani. Otunga's family. <laughs> I'm gonna pass this off to you guys before I do my other verses. <laughs> His family is gammy, they won't earn him a slammy, they're kinda gross and clammy, Otunga's family. His family reunion, no one came, it was ruined, but money's still accruing, Otunga's family. Otunga's pretty sad, and now he has no dad, and now he's really (laughs) mad, Otunga's family. Since his family has gone, he wishes he had three dongs, so he can move on, Otunga's family. His relatives have passed on, and ever since they've been gone, his bank account's been growing, Otunga's family. They opted for cremation to offset his taxation. Now David's on vacation, Otunga's family. Now that they are post-mortem, the rumor on the forums say that they died of boredom, Otunga's family. Oh god. Da, 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 da. Actually, I believe they died because they were fried. <laughs> I've got a man on the case. Out Are they drunk, Mr. <laughs> well, now they're dead like Sunny Scooter. Let's go. So that's all that matters. Alright, next week we're going to do the Munsters, right? <laughs>